Hey everyone, here are the announcements for this week. Uh, today is Monday, March 23rd, and this runs through Sunday, March 29th. As many of you know, we will not have any on-campus activities this week whatsoever, uh, but we will gather together as a church family on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern for our Bible study, which is geared towards families, and then again on Sunday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern uh, for our sermon. If you are looking for resources to use with your family, you can check out past live streams. They're all able to be found on YouTube or on the church website. Just look at the description. There are lots of resources there for you to use with your family. Also wanted to announce we had a community workday scheduled for this Saturday. Uh, that is being postponed. We are not canceling it. Uh, we are still going to uh, be doing some work in our community once we can all gather back together again, but that will not be happening this Saturday for those of you who signed up. Also, you want to be sure to tune in this Sunday at 11 a.m. Uh, to the live stream for the sermon. We're going to be sharing some information about the worship pastor that we hopefully will be calling soon. As always, if you have needs or if there are things we can do to care for you, please let us know. We do not know unless you reach out. We have lots of folks who are willing to help, who desire to help, um, but we need to know what the needs are. So you can do that by sending us an email or calling the church office. The number is found on our website. Speaking of the church office, there will be somebody by here every day uh, to check the mail and, and be in for a little bit. Uh, but if you need to get a hold of somebody, that the surest way to do that is by calling the church office phone. It, even if nobody's here, it's being forwarded to our church admin. So you can always get a hold of somebody that way. Uh, lastly, I want to let you know that on our church website, uh, we now are able to offer online giving. We've had several folks who have been asking about that. Uh, if you go to cbcsalem.net, you can click the Give button in the top right-hand corner of the page. At the end of this video, uh, there is a tutorial video that I'll attach onto here about exactly how to do that. Um, as you know, uh, during this time, uh, even though we're in quarantine, the needs of the church go on. Um, the church is really working hard to care for um, our community and for our members. And so um, we, we just ask that you would consider to continue to be faithful, as many of you are, in giving to your church. I love you. God bless you. Talk to you soon cbcsalem.net. You will notice in the top right hand corner there is a new give button. We are now able to offer online giving as a church thanks to Lifeway. Lifeway is a Southern Baptist company that is providing an online giving platform to churches free of charge. Before we talk about how to give online, there are a few things that you need to know. Number one, security. Lifeway uses the same security as your bank when it comes to online transactions. It uses industry standard SSL encryption, and if that doesn't mean anything to you, you should know it is equally safe to give online as it is to bank online. Second, our church has no access to, nor do we keep a record of, any credit card information. We have no access to any credit card numbers. All we have access to is the name of the person who donated and the amount. Which leads us to number three. The only people who have access to giving records are those who are involved in making our end of the year tax forms for our giving records. None of our pastoral staff has any access to anyone's giving records. No pastor knows who gives what or what amount. The only people who know that information are those who make the year end tax forms. With that said, let's talk about how to give online. First, you go to cbcsalem.net. And it will take you to this page, which is our home page, and then you click this Give button in the top right-hand corner, and it will take you to our online giving page, where you will see our church logo, as well as Lifeway's online giving logo. You scroll down to the bottom, and this is the giving page. You can select the dollar amount that you want to give. You can enter a custom amount if it's not $25, $50, or $100. So let's just put in $15. You can choose to give through credit or debit card. All major credit and debit cards are able to give through this system. You can also, if you wish, set up a recurring gift if you want to give weekly, monthly, quarterly, or annually, or you can just choose to give a one-time gift. Once all that information is selected, you hit the Give Now button, and it will take you to this page where you enter your credit card's billing info. It's really important that you put your email down here because this is the email to which a receipt will be sent after you are done giving. So you fill out all this information, you put in your credit card or debit card information right here, and then uh, you can hit the Give button. Before you do that, there is a checkbox right here that based on the dollar amount you are giving, it will say, I would like to add X number of dollars and cents to help cover the transaction cost. I mentioned a moment ago 
that this online giving platform is provided free of charge to churches, and that is true. But every credit card company charges a fee to run its credit card. So every time you run your card at a restaurant, every time you buy something either online or in a brick and mortar store, uh, there is a percentage fee that Visa, American Express, Discover, and MasterCard all, all charge. So this box, if you choose to check it, will help us not have to pay that fee. The fee is 2.89% of the transaction plus 30 cents. So if you're giving $15, that would be 73 cents. If you would like to help us out in that way, you can check that box and it will add that amount onto your donation. So this donation would be for $15.73, as you can see right here. And the last step is just to click the Give button. And if you filled out everything else, it will take you to a receipt page and it will send an email to your email address with your giving receipt. In the future, we're working on a way to give through an app on your phone, though we don't have access to that yet. And we're also looking at a way uh, for you to be able to set up an account so that you can not have to fill in this information every time and also have access to your giving records. In the meantime, if you would like access to your giving records, you can always call the church office and Janet will be glad to make that available to you. Thanks so much for watching.